Hello, this is Vanessa Chamberlain, Press Secretary for Americans Serving Americans. Joining me today is Gary Groudon, and he has a food preservation system like you've never seen before. Hi, Gary, how are you? I'm wonderful, how are you? Wonderful myself, thank you. Great. Good to see you here. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely, I'm excited to have you introduce your products, your entire line of products, in fact, that you're bringing to ASA, um, to the rest of the world. I, I think they're exciting, and I think the rest of the world will find them to be exciting. I, I think it's very exciting, and it's, it's revolutionary, but everyone uses this product every day. They just don't know it, and they've never heard the terminology. So that's what will sort of be a little, little twix for them. So, okay, so now that you've created some interest and some intrigue, why don't you tell us about your products? About, tell us about your whole line of products, um, sure. for that matter. The, the process is called Modified Atmosphere Packaging, MAP, M-A-P, Modified Atmosphere Packaging. The best way to think of it is if you have a bag of potato chips or a, or a bag of cheese, bag salads, um, the little tray of um, chicken with the cellophane over the top, uh, why aren't those chips already stale inside the bag. Why aren't the cheese cheeses moldy or dried out when you first open them? The answer is because it's not air inside those bags. The, the air, you know, oxygen, you've heard of oxidation, and the mold and bacteria that, that's created from the moisture in the air, that causes the bacteria. So the air inside those bags has been modified, exchanged with nitrogen you know 78 percent of the air we breathe is is nitrogen so you filter out the bad air and and you put good air in there and your products stay fresher far far longer they do it commercially but it's never been available to you and me as as consumers okay so this is the first time i've ever heard of oxygen referred to as bad air <laughs> <laughs> can know. you explain that a little further because i know we that's essential for life as well so yeah. Yeah, we need it to breathe, but, but you've, and you've cut open an apple and they turn brown. That's, mm -hmm. that's oxidation. So, and you've also opened up a bag of chips, roll them up, put your little chip clip on there, and a week later they're stale. It's mm -hmm. because of the bad air, the oxygen, which contains all the moisture. And that moisture is what causes the mold and bacteria as well. So um, it's, it, it's good air for us. It's bad air for, for keeping your food very long. <laughs> Right. So, so how do you, how do you with your products? I almost said, how do you plan to do this? You you do it. So how how do your products replace the bad air with good air in order to and it keeps the food safe, uh, not just safe but fresher. And so yep. and natural natural nitrogen is a hundred percent natural and organic. It's just highly filtered air. So how we do that? I've I've got a small. I, we've got a lot of different size bowls, but this is one of our bowls. I hope you can see this okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, they have, they have locking lids. This is just some of the packaging. Um, but there's a silicone rubber seal on them, so they, they lock just like, just like a lot of bowls do. But this has a little vent, a sliding silicone rubber vent. Open the vent. This is a, a duck bill, it's called. You know, like, a, like in a sippy cup for children where, where it's a one-way it allows air in, but the air won't come back out. So with that, we have canisters of nitrogen, just like they sell for the wine industry. Um, but we have a stainless steel fold down straw so it doesn't get lost and it doesn't fall off into your food or into a bottle of wine. But the, the straw goes in the little duck bill and hopefully you can hear this. I can hear it, absolutely. That's, that's forcing the oxygen, the bad air, out. So you give it a one second squirt, close the valve, or close the little vent, and you've got a little modified atmosphere packaging for leftovers, for uh, if you grow your own fruits and veggies, you go to the farmer's market, um, put them in one of our different size bowls, or we also have a, a special film, you know, like, a, like a cheese bag, isn't like a Ziploc bag, it's a heavier film. So this is a heavier film, like those cheese bags, with my valve in it. So you can put your chips in here if you want to, or 
put um, in your veggies, put whatever your cookies, uh, a quart size and a gallon size bag. Um, and then, and I, I think this is exciting as I'll get out, um, the, um, it, there's a lot of people that like to can in the fall. And, oh, yes. You know, so if, you, if you're a canner and you have your little jar of tomato juice, tomato, if you call it tomato sauce. Tomato paste, tomato sauce, tomato, tomato or paste, even tomatoes. You open up the lid and, and you, you pour it out and you make your dinner. If you have some leftover, because remember, there's no preservatives when you're canning. Right. So these mason jar lids have my one-way valve on them. So you can force the oxygen back up out of there and lay, put a layer of nitrogen on top of your tomatoes, and they're as fresh as the day you can. It's like recanning without recooking. Okay, so I have a question about that. If you can force the nitrogen in and the oxygen, how, does, how do you force the oxygen out when I didn't see one of those silicone slidey things on the top of that? Hopefully you can see this. Um, can you see the little holes? Yes. By the duck, this, that's the tail, of, the tail of the duck bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I called it that, but that's the little tail of the duck bill, but the little holes around it. So the nitrogen goes down, well, I guess I don't have to show you the can, goes down through the center, uh -huh. and the, if, the, if the jar was attached here, uh -huh. the oxygen comes up the sides and out those little holes, and this just kind of, the little green duckbill on the top just kind of the little burps or bubbles on the okay. top, and the oxygen comes out those little holes as you're blowing the nitrogen in. So Same those are one-way holes too then? So no, well, on the yeah, because they're underneath, they're underneath the flap of the duckbill. Love it. Hopefully you can see that. I so can't. when you put these in there, it, it forces the oxygen out. Love it. I love yeah, it. You know what? I love it. I love so my, the... My newest product is, is actually for wine drinkers. I think this is great. Um, <laughs> I, I, one of my goals is to be a wino, and I'm, and I'm right on track. <laughs> <I think. laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. goals you have. <laughs> but uh, silicone rubber bottle stoppers um, goes on top of the bottle. After you, you, know, you open them up and think of this, the little head space between the bottom of the cork and the top of the wine. Right. That little head space, mm -hmm. if it was oxygen, your wine would be oxidized when you open it. So it's, it's not oxygen inside those wine bottles, it's nitrogen. So what this does, just like the mason jar lids, it's a, the little duckbill on top and the little holes underneath. Very the, good. I Can you see? see Whoop, where's mm -hmm. my camera? Um, so the the oxygen, nitrogen goes down the bottle. Oxygen is forced up and out the sides. So I I can fully purge a bottle of wine, just like it was reproduced. Um, if if you think about all the little vacuum pump things they have for for wine bottles, they sell millions and millions and millions of those little rascals. But the problem is. If you're, and you've all seen food savers, there are vacuum sealers, you know, that, that you put your food in there and it, it just sucks. Yep, the, yep. Absolutely. And then, it, so and then it seals it's it. It's doing a similar process by removing the air, but you can't vacuum seal bread or chips and, and many products. Um, cheese is not recommended for another one. But, but the little vacuum pump for a bottle of wine, unless that glass bottle goes, it's still full of air. So it really doesn't do anything. This will fully purge a bottle of wine and make it just like you came from the store. There's a, there's a new company out that sells a contraption that can go on top of your bottle of wine, $300, and they sell them a lot to restaurants, and they have a little thing of nitrogen built into the handle where it back flushes nitrogen, $300 for the little contraption, and 15, uh, 15 to 17.95 for the little nitrogen thing and it has like 10 squirts of it these cans retail at 9.95 but there's 100 applications this is good for 100 meals wow so it's quite unique but everyone like i said uses it every day they've had a, a some chips they bought um a bag of lettuce or they ate lettuce at the restaurant that was in a modified atmosphere bag when it arrived at the restaurant. Lettuce is one that I noticed spoils quickly. Yes, um, in the, the, the meat, uh, in those little trays, all those things will spoil in two or three days, but if you have a, a chance maybe to even buy things on sale, 
um, you get a two pound tray of hamburger um, because it was on sale, but you aren't gonna cook two pounds of it tonight. You can put the other pound in one of my bags or in one of the bowls and give it a shot and it'll, you can keep it just like it came from the store. I think this is just genius, and I love the, the Ziploc bags. I don't know if you saw my eyes light up when you showed those. I was like, yeah, oh. I did. <laughs> I, I didn't know, because you've probably never seen these. But no. It, it is a heavier film, and yeah. so it doesn't leak the air or the nitrogen. I but love you, it. Yeah. You just, I, don't care, I don't care how many Ziploc bags you use. Food still goes bad in them. Yeah, absolutely. Because so uh, as soon as you open that bag of cheese, the oxygen escapes. It, you know, the, uh, the commercial the say, we've got our new Ziploc tops to keep your food fresher longer. All it does is keep your cheese from falling around the refrigerator because you, <laughs> you've, you've opened the bag that nitrogen escaped and you just zipped it shut with all the oxygen back inside. It's the countdown to destruction. Right. This, this is my last little guy I'll show you. Mm -hmm. This is called, it, it snaps together. It's called a snap and zap cap. <laughs> um, can you see the little teeth on here? Maybe, yep. maybe you can, maybe you can't. Yes, I can. But it, let's say you get a, um, an eight pack of hamburger buns or a loaf of bread and, you, and you, you use four of your hamburger buns and the other four get stale or green or crusty before you get back to them. Always. So what <laughs> this does, if this, if this was your, your bag of bread, this goes inside the bag. These little teeth pierce the film. It, it pierces the film and locks into place. There's a silicone rubber seal on it. It locks into place and I have a special clip for the top. Now you just take the nitrogen and put it back in. So now those little eight pack of hamburger buns and the four that are left over are as fresh as, as they came from the store. Amazing. What a, um, a, a little, loaf of bread from Trader Joe's, a little right. round, whatever, battalion something, all, all natural, no preservatives, all that stuff. And I got stuck in traffic, so I got home late for dinner. My wife says, eh, we'll, we'll just have, we'll have the bread with our, my lasagna or whatever she was making tomorrow. I said, okay, good. So tomorrow I came home and the bread was moldy already overnight because it's natural and organic. And how long was it sitting at the store? I, I don't right. know if they made it this morning. So it might've been at the store for a day or two. So the next day I bought two loaves, one for my wife's little lasagna, and I put another one inside my zip, zip and zap bags. Um, I kept it for 73 days before mold showed up. Whoa. And not that you want your bread for 73 days, but it's no. nice to know it's still good next week. Absolutely. You know? so, That's incredible. I put my yeah. bread in the fridge hoping to preserve it. Yep, and, and that won't do anything because it's still got oxygen. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're doing nothing with your food. <laughs> so, uh, Lord knows I don't know anything. Okay, so so you've probably covered a lot of this, but I'm sure yeah. other than other than that vacuum sealer thing, I'm sure you might have other competition out there. So is there anybody who comes anywhere close it, to no. doing what you do? Um, this, I, I've patented the process and the I, you know, people can make little duck bills and they can make little lids and make different design bags, but we patented the process of applying nitrogen or any, any modified atmosphere gas um, into any style, size, or shape of container through any means or mechanism. <laughs> so, so we've patented the process of, of applying it. Uh, and there is nothing on the market uh, I was given the Inventors Recognition Award at the International Housewares Show uh, for the most innovative and best new invention of the year um, in 2017, last year. So um, right. it, it, was, it was a nice little award, especially when you have all the major manufacturers in the world at the International Housewares Show. That's, that was a pretty nice, nice surprise and a great award. Right, and I, I don't know if you want to talk about this or not, and you can say you don't want to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it, but yeah. there is one application that you didn't mention that I know actually has a demographic that would be interested. Yeah. So there is, why don't, if you don't want, I'm not going to say it. If you want to talk about it, go ahead. Um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with talking about it. So C if you want to approach it. 
the the c word yeah whoa <laughs> well the the one of the c words yes Go ahead. It, it actually happened by accident um okay. i had a phone call one day and this is this has been a couple years ago um from colorado and mm -hmm. the guy said can you keep my cannabis fresh and mm -hmm. i went I, I've never tested it, <laughs> but I I do keep. I, we grow our own basil, oregano, parsley, and all that little herby crud stuff out there. Um, so in the fall, I pick it and I put it in our bags and I give it a shot. Um, and it, the longest I've kept it was just over six months. But I, I'm in Minnesota, so our our winters are <laughs> six-ish months. Uh, but we have fresh basil, we have fresh rosemary, fresh thyme, uh, all winter long. That's every time I real, every time I open the bag and I zip it shut, I have to give it another shot every time you reopen it. But but the cannabis market, especially with my mason jar lids and the bags, I keep their stuff fresh. And now that it's getting more legal around the country, as well as the medical, the mm -hmm. CBD oils, mm -hmm. um, oil oh, goes rancid. Um, yeah. So so I have the little jar lids and I put a duck bill on them and I can keep their oils from going rancid or, or losing their, their potency as well as the regular cannabis market. So it's, um, it, that's a new little twist and a new little surprise to, to me and to my whole concept, I guess, but it's, right. but it's wonderful. Well, and that's why I brought it up because just because it's not legal everywhere doesn't mean it's not legal somewhere. And California, sure. Colorado, I mean, it's yep. increasingly growing. Yeah, absolutely. And my business has almost doubled since California and some of the, what is there, 38 states now that are where it's legal. So mm -hmm. either medical or recreational. Right. So it's, uh, well, not that I can't keep up. It, it's a good problem to have. We're, right. <laughs> we're going all day long. Right. Well, I'm glad you talked about it because like I said, it is legal in some places. And so it's, it's worth mentioning. It really yeah, is. Absolutely. I mean, you've got, you've got a market out there. I honestly think that your products are absolutely amazing. Let me ask you um, a question that's not about the products, but why ASA? Why did you approach us? I saw someone on, on LinkedIn. Um, and I went, oh, I liked the name American Serving Americans. I, and it was just a curiosity thing when I first saw it. And then as I'm looking at the link and then I, I click to the website and oh, 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 oh. And then the, e sorry. I, I made that noise and my dog's barking at me. Um, so, sorry. Um, it, then I, so I, I kept going down through it and I saw the eagle's nest and, and the eagles. I go, this is like a shark tank, a, a bigger and better, a bigger and better version because it's American serving Americans, not just a whole bunch of rich guys trying to get rich again, I, it, which is Americans too. But, but the, the concept just, struck me and I, I love the concept, love the everything I saw on there. So I think it's wonderful. Great answer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I loved your answer. So I'm sorry, what was that? I just said thank you. Oh, so you're planning to join us at the next Eagle's Nest, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. And that that's exciting. Yeah, how exciting is it for you? Well, you know, like I said, when when you see it on the website, oh that's cool and this is nice. Oh, that's fun. Oh look at them. Look at him. Look at her. So, but then I'm talking to those guys. This is great. They, they want me to come on the show. Are you kidding? This is wonderful. So that, that's really exciting. And Forbes Riley is one of my little LinkedIn connection people. And um, so I want to get a whole bunch more of them on there. That, I think it's wonderful. And, I, and I'm excited to get down there and meet everybody. And um, especially because I'm excited about all the products and to have a team like that working with you to, to get them marketed and get, get the name out there. Um, I think it's tremendous. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to see you in the Eagle's Nest. I'm excited for further conversation because as you know, we will be like holding hands until you get there pretty much. <laughs> so okay. I'm, is, is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience before we end the interview? Um, well, if, if you'd like to take a look at my products and, and, and even, even order one, there's a concept, uh, naturalpreserve.com. So it's uh, as, as easy as that sounds, because it is natural, it's naturalpreserve.com. Natural preserve, singular, it, dot com. Yes. Okay. No, no plural, natural preserve. Um, well, I encourage everyone to go there because your products are absolutely amazing. 
They really yeah. are. You've done a great job of telling everybody about them and how useful they are. I mean, you've, we've talked before and I'm still like, wow, that's more information. That's new. <laughs> and, I, and I get excited and um, I might tell you the rest of it next time. <laughs> there's more? <laughs> well, wait, I don't know. There's more. I'll come up with something. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing you in the Eagle's Nest. And thank you so much for joining me today. I enjoyed Absolutely. learning more. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And one more time, www.naturalpreserve.com. Correct? Correct. All right. Until next time, thank you so much, Gary. Thank you.